Uh, hello everybody, I'm back with yet another example of factor of safety as it relates to normal stress and shear stress. So you could see I have this statement of the problem here. Uh, it says the cutter is used to hold the two rods. So the cutter here is the pin, this pin right here, actually this pin. And the smallest, uh, we want to find the thickness of the cutter as you could see T. So we want to find T. And also we want to find uh, the smallest diameter D of the rod, D right here. So those are the two items that we are trying to find. So based on what? For which the failure normal stress, which here I'm, I just call it sigma U ultimate stress. Now, of course, ultimate stress is the maximum stress reached by the specimen if you do a tensile test on it, uh, which I'll take it as the, uh, it's larger actually than failure stress. So here for the material that this rod is made of, uh, is 500 megapascal and also the failure shear stress which again called it tau sub u ultimate shear strength of 375 megapascal that that's for the pin itself the cutter pin so here we want to use the factor of safety with respect to failure in the rod failure right here as 2.5 and if what if the cutter pin will shear off use a factor of safety of 1.75. Okay, so this is really a very simple problem. You want to start actually by figuring out what would be the allowable normal stress and shear stress. So first, uh, let me use the, uh, the definition of factor of safety. We know factor of safety is defined as the failure stress, in this case, sigma sub u divided by sigma allowable. So rearranging the equation and solving for sigma allowable, in other words, you want to find out what would be the maximum stress that you could have in this rod right here? So that becomes uh, sigma sub u divided by factor of safety. So in this case, if we take the 500 and divide it by a factor of safety of 2.5, basically we are saying, okay, we want to be really safe. So now make sure that the maximum stress in this rod is only 200 megapascal. Let's also apply factor of safety to the shear stress. And I was, what if the cutter pin will shear off and we want to figure out the thickness of it based on these uh, material properties. So this would be again tau sub u here divided by tau allowable, right? So tau allowable again becomes tau sub u divided by factor of safety. So here allowable shear stress in the pin is, uh, 375 divided by the factor of safety of 1.75, which actually becomes, I guess, 214.286 megapascal. Be careful with the units. All right, ready to um, now figure out the diameter and the thickness of the cutter pin. Uh, the diameter, basically, we just say sigma is equal to P over A. And as you could see, the applied load is simply 30 kilonewtons right here. So if we put the allowable stress, which is 200 megapascal, and that's 200 times 10 to the 6, and that's equal to the load, 30 kilonewtons, right, which is 30,000 newtons, divided by area, cross-sectional area of this guy, right? It's just a cross-section of area whose diameter is d, so that would be pi over, pi over 4 d squared. So therefore, solving for d, we get about 0 0.0138 meters, so the answer should be meters, which is about 13.8 millimeters. That's a little bit more than half an inch, basically. All right, what about shear stress? Uh, we want to find also this thickness of the cutter pin. So we say, okay, Notice that actually the, that this guy, the pin is going to be in double shear here. So it's going to shear off here or it's going to shear off here. So we have actually P, the applied load, equal to 2V. So let me write this down that this is a double shear case. Very important. So actually your shear load is half of the, uh, the applied load. So that would be 15 kilonewton or 15,000 newtons. So let me move down here and finish up the problem. By saying we know tau is equal to V over A, and tau is uh, 
the allowable shear stress that we figured out based on factor of safety. So that's 214. I forgot to put the, uh, the rest of it. Let me actually move down here so I have more room. So 214.286 megapascal, that's 10 to the 6. V is 15 kilonewton or 15,000. And what is the area? The area in question is right here, this area here, right here. So that area would be, as you can see, T times 10 millimeters or 10 millimeters. Of course, you have to convert it to meters, 0 0.01 times T. So go ahead and solve for T and T comes out to be in meters to be about 0 0.007 meters, which is seven millimeters. So in this problem, we have to make sure that the thickness is at least seven millimeters and the diameter of this pin right here is at least 13.8 millimeters. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and listening.